The next movements which I will name, explain, have demonstrated, and which you will conduct practical work on is changing the direction of a column to the left from the hull. This movement is used to change the direction of a column 90 degrees to the left in a uniform manner. The commands for this movement are column left, march, and halt. Column left march is a two-part command. Column left is a preparatory command and march is the command of execution. Halt is also a two-part command when preceded by a preparatory command such as squad, platoon, or demonstrator. I will use demonstrator as the preparatory command and halt is the command of execution. When given, these commands are as follows. Column left, march! Demonstrator, halt! Demonstrators, post! I'll use a step-by-step -step method of instruction. The platoon changes the direction of marching basically the same as the squad. During the column movement, the base element is the squad on the flank in the direction of the turn. On the command of execution march of column left march, the base squad executes the movement as in squad drill, except that the squad leader takes one 30-inch step and then takes up the half step. The squad leader will continue marching with the half step until the other squad leaders come abreast. The other squad leaders, while maintaining correct offset interval, execute a 45 degree pivot to the left and continue marching in an arc. As they come online with the base squad leader, they take up the half step. When all squad leaders are abreast, they step off with a 30 inch step without command. All other platoon members march forward on the command of execution and execute the column movement at the approximately the same location as their squad leaders and in the same manner. Column left, march! Note when the platoon leader and platoon sergeant are marching at their post and column as part of a larger formation, they execute a column half left rather than a 90 degree column movement. After executing the column half left, they continue marching in an arc, incline as necessary, and resume their correct positions. After sensing that the squad leaders are abreast of each other, the platoon leader resumes the 30 inch step. At times, the platoon leader may find it necessary to shorten or lengthen his step in order to maintain correct distance from the unit to his front. To further illustrate this movement, I will command a series of steps. Ready, step! 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 To terminate this movement, the command is halt. A halt is executed in two counts, basically the same as halt from the 30 inch step. For instructional purposes, on the command of execution step of ready step, bring the trail foot alongside the lead foot and assume the position of attention. Ready, step! Reform! At normal cadence, this movement would look as follows. Column left, march! Demonstrators, halt! Allies! What are your questions pertaining to this movement when executed at normal cadence or using the step-by-step -step method of instruction? Demonstrators, attention! You will now become my assistant instructors. Follow! <laughs>